Hi guys, I just wanted to show you the differences between the compact uh, P320 frame and the X-Compact P320 frame. Over the deals in the last few weeks, the SIG store had a few deals on grips and things like that, so I picked up the X-Compact frame uh, with the hope that uh, I could practice more on my main competition gun, the X5, and have a little bit of carryover into the EDC, uh, you know, the, the compact. Obviously my intention was that this was going to be like a mini version of the X5 frame and uh, I think it's actually gone a little bit too mini. My expectations were that the compact frame would really just be uh, cut down to size. So you can see here that between the P320 full size frame and compact frame the only differences are the shortened uh, shroud, shroud up front so it can accommodate that rail without an overhang and uh, 15 rounds so 17 round but dimensionally everything else is actually identical however between the X5 and the X compact there's massive differences I don't know if you can see that visually already but just in terms of dimensionally around just around the circumference of the grip it's visually much much smaller and I can show that to you by taking my master grip on the X5 and you can see here I can get not these two fingers in, but these last two fingers. So there's still enough room for quite a lot of my palm to get in there. That's quite ideal. And that's what I thought I'd still be getting on this frame, but you see I take my master grip there and I can't get these two fingers in there. It's really just one finger. So, so circumferentially this is much, much smaller. Much smaller than, in fact, even the regular P320 compact frame, for which I can actually get a lot more room in there. I can actually put in two relatively big fingers in there. It's X5 is actually a little bit smaller around the circumference. So you're really giving up a lot for this frame. And the reality is, is that it's the exact same length, same height. So even though you're giving up a lot of the circumference on your grip, you are not getting anything with regards to concealability. Uh, since this doesn't share the same grip with the X5, I'm seeing very little reason to keep this thing. So this is probably going back to the SIG store tomorrow. So if the X Compact sort of leaving my life uh, shortly, this does re-raise the question of how do I get my Compact EDC uh, more in line with my competition gun or vice versa actually and um, there's two ways to go about it and that is one switch from my competition back to the P320 full size grip um, I actually like this grip a lot I find you can get more meat on it as I said there's actually more room on the on the grip uh, which will facilitate grip the only downside is this scalloping here which can be remedied with some epoxy and some putty and I'm already probably going to put some epoxy and silicon carbide on this one as well so that's probably a downside that will be fixed pretty easily. The X5 still has advantages though with regards to a slightly more uh, sophisticated undercut here, slightly higher beaver tail, a little bit more flaring on the magwell. The X5 grip of course also has the added weight and uh, external magwell for the sports that support it. I also actually have coming on the way a TXG grip, so the tungsten infused grip that's significantly heavier. So I'm unlikely to switch over to the full size P320 grip, although it is still excellent. So what I'm thinking of doing is potentially just taking one of my spare X5 grips because it will be spare after I get the tungsten grip and then doing the cut here to effectively make this a carry frame to accept the compact slide and then I will literally have an X5 frame on my carry. Alright, I'm going to do a review of all of the modules and how you can interchange them and such and all the different sizes uh, so if you want to stay tuned to that please like and subscribe. Until next time, thank you.